The bench top insertion tool is the quickest and easiest method to install the insert when space constraints are not an issue. First cut the tubing squarely using the Primelock tubing cutter. Verify that the tubing is within the 70 thousandths maximum squareness tolerance. Now that the tubing is properly cut, you can install the insert. First slide the insert onto the mandrel. Verify that the insert has been properly placed onto the mandrel. As you can see, the installation indication lines are closest to the shoulder of the mandrel. Ensure the clamps are clean and void of contaminants. Insert the cut end of the tubing through the Primalock nut. Place the tubing assembly into the clamp. Slide the tube onto the mandrel until it stops. Then clamp the tube into place. If the tubing slides, readjust the clamping mechanism to increase the tube clamping force. Simply rotate the handle to push the insert into the tube until the tube contacts the mandrel shoulder. Retract the handle when the insert is installed into the tube. Unclamp the tube. Once the insert is pressed into the tube, there are a few easy steps to verify the insert has been properly assembled into the tube. The insert has molded indication lines for gauging proper installation into the tube. For correct installation, the tubing will cover all or at least a portion of the indication lines. The insert does not need to be fully pressed into the tube. Slide the tube assembly onto the fitting. Start by hand tightening the nut. Then use the custom prime lock wrench. Place the wrench over the ribs of the fitting nut, rotate clockwise. Tighten the nut until the connection verification ring creates an audible click. You could also visually check that the nut has been properly tightened by verifying that there is no gap between the nut and the connection verification ring. The fitting assembly is now finished and the product is ready for use in your fluid handling system.